morning youtubers so for this short today i'm going to show you how to lay paving slabs on a mortar bed let's get into it okay so the first thing you need to do is make sure that your base is prepared this is just some crushed concrete on a compacted type 1 base um, and then you need your mortar now making mortar you can check out my how to make mortar video which might be in the corner or you might have to go hunting for it on my page but I don't know how to put it up in the corner yet so you never know but basically you want your mortar and if it sticks fairly decently to your trowel it's probably a good consistency it doesn't want to kind of um, flatten out under its own weight but that is a really good way to tell whether your mortar is sort of there or thereabouts so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to tip the mortar out onto the space where I've got my next paving slabs to go and then um, we'll start to level it out okay let's go So the cement is now in place, you can see it's quite rough, um, You want when you put the slab on you need the slab to sit slightly higher than the previous one that you've done, otherwise when you tap it down it won't form a solid mortar joint underneath. So you can see it's quite rough at the moment and that is so that when the slab goes on and I start tapping it down all of this mortar will start to solidify into one big piece um, and support the whole slab from underneath so let's get the slab and get it in so when you put your slab on your mortar bed you want it to be a touch higher that's probably like five ten mil higher than the slab next to it that's already in place so i just put a couple of spacers i'm using 10 mil but you can use whatever you whatever you want and then what i do is i'm using the laser level and if you are doing this on a big space i mean that i'm i've got like 30 meters of path to do so if you're using um, a long space like this then a laser level will sort of help you keep accurate and these are quite easy because when you put it close it shows you on the screen how high it is so that's saying that at the front that wants to go down 12 millimeters and at the back it wants to go down 20 millimeters so then what I do is I start tamping it in the middle don't want one edge to go down quicker than the other so I start tamping it in the middle and at the back to bring the back down to get it kind of level and then I'll just work my way around the slab also I use a rubber mallet and the middle of the rubber mallet can be quite hard so I kind of try and stick to the using the edge and I'm constantly looking at this joint here because I can see that that's high so I'm trying to keep that even as I'm hitting the back down the front is going down as well so you, you have to just take your time and really look at what you're doing now I'm not concentrating on the, the, the back so much because I know I've got 20 mil and that's that's quite a lot to go down but I get it halfway and then I'll get the level and that's still got eight mil to go the front 
it's got about two mil to go. So then what you can do, is you, if you can, you can hold the level on it and slowly tap it down, being sure to be even across the slab. If you hit it too hard this way, it's just gonna tilt the slab down on that side. So you have to sort of work your way along. And you can hear the bleeping of the laser level. And when that gets to one high pitched noise, you know you're there. I've still got a few mil to go. There we go. And you can feel, and I can feel, yeah, so I know the back's in place, and then you can feel, and I can feel that this end is, is almost perfect, but this end is a little bit high. But to get that end down, I don't want to bang it right on the corner, I want to bang it around here, because there's probably a lump of cement here. And just, you're just feeling all the time and that is basically it so once your slab is down you'll have quite a lot of mortar coming out around the edges now i've got a cut to go in there so that's okay but along here and you'll notice that there might be the odd gap so it's important after you lay each one just to take some of the excess mortar and just point the slab up so that the edge is fully supported and there you have it how to lay a paving slab in five minutes Now you just got to do that as many paving slabs that you have. So you should go and get on with it. Mm -hmm.